Hi, welcome to Simon Morell's Online Combat University where we cover Krav Maga, kickboxing, boxing, karate and wrestling. This episode is level one. Uh, if you're grading with me, this will be to yellow belts, but remember not everything we do is geared towards gradings. Uh, this first technique you see is deflective block against a jab to the face. It's basically a boxer's parry uh, against, obviously, for a jab to the face. Uh, quite a simple technique to execute. Do it with a partner, as you see later on, uh, but make it make it work for you first. Uh, practice in the air, practice slowly, practice diligently, and put it to the real thing later on when you have a partner uh, striking you. So now we're getting down to our own basic strikes, we're working on a jab to the face, uh, we're adding a cross to the solar plexus, uh, as you see I put it into a combination later on, so it's a one-two, again it's a very very basic drill, uh, largely taken from boxing and kickboxing, but utilised in karate and of course in Krav Maga, so it's a jab to the face and a right cross to the body, if you're southpaw obviously it's a right jab to the face and a left cross to the body. So now my favourite range is kicking, but if you never fight me, forget that you know that. We're going to work on a basic uh, drill here, basic kicking. Really the first kick that any martial artist will learn, I, I think. And it's front kick off the front leg, which I tend to use as a jab. When I transfer to the back leg later on, it becomes more powerful kick. Similar to the, to the left jab off the, uh, the front hand, uh, right cross off the back hand. So it's left front kick uh, off the front leg and uh, right front kick off the back leg. Again, reverse ease if you're southpaw and mix and match as you see fit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to advance it. I'm going to put the four techniques that we've learned so far together. That's a left jab to the face, a right cross to the body, and the double front kick. This is more to see that I've got a flow of my techniques. There's no kind of stutters. I'm not giving anything away. Um, a good practical technique to drill on shields and on focus pads with a partner. And it really is to get your, get your energy working and make sure everything's working together. So now we get a bit more real and we're going to work on full contact techniques from boxing. Our first one, left jab to the face, right cross to the body. So what you saw in the air, now we're doing for real. Uh, we follow up with left jab, right hook. So again, that'd be jab to the face, hook to the body. And then I reverse it, I go uh, right cross to the solar plexus, left hook to the side of the face. And this is all done full contact. And now we work on Krav Maga shadow fighting, which is the equivalent of shadow boxing, obviously. And these are very, very, um, if you follow the bouncing balls, very, very straightforward. Great to learn technique, uh, great to learn in the air, great to, once again to get, your, uh, to get all your techniques flowing. Number one, knee strike, front kick, round elbow. Uh, and again, think about your windows, think about where you're striking and try not to hit the same place twice and see if you can make this work for you. Number two, upper elbow to the chin, hammer fist to the, uh, to the side of the face and side kick to the knee. 
one of my favorite combinations quite a basic one quite an easy one to master and um, once you've got the hang of it you can move on but remember don't rush take things slowly moving on to number three round elbow to the side of the face right cross to the solar plexus you push the guy away and you get an after meter burst in front kick And now on to unarmed combat, and if you follow the bouncing balls, it's quite easy to work out. I'm defending a jab, I'm blocking the defective block, and counting for right cross. Uh, again, these are done light to start with until I'm more confident. Then I move on to the first kick, front kick off the back leg, which I move off the fighting line, down block with my left hand, and I counter for right cross to the solar plexus. Uh, again, done lightly until we're more confident and we can move up to full contact. And then we move on to weapons work and the first one is a very basic ice pick i strike the bicep and the sternum and move out creating space and hopefully making my escape quickly finished off with pressure testing this is survival you box with composure uh, the two minute rounds you box with composure and on the command you turn and you street fight head butts elbow strikes knee strikes and once we uh, once again in the two minute round i'll call it the person's got to compose themselves and carry on boxing and this is two uh, two two minute rounds for yellow belts Hi, welcome back to Simon Morell's Online Combat University, bringing you the best of Krav Maga, kickboxing, boxing, karate and wrestling. Today we're working on level 2, orange belt level, and the first technique in the air is down block, which is the defence against the front kick, bringing the support hand back to my hips in Hikate. And remembering that blocks are originally strikes, so instead of having the mindset where you're defending the kick, have the mindset where you're actually attacking your opponent's leg as the kick comes in, covering the torso and the groin. So big hard strikes to the opponent's shin and that should see you through safely. Next up we have a palm heel strike. Again in the air because it's very very basic, uh, beginner's level. Uh, fingers pulled back, hips pushed through, uh, driving through off the heel and the palm strike is either to the bridge of the nose or just underneath the jaw, rotating the opponent's head back. And once again, in the air, practicing safely before you feel competent enough to move on to the pads. Next, one of my favourite techniques, it's a close quarter combat technique, roundhouse elbow, we're hitting the side of the uh, the side of the jaw, rotating the head round, causing maximum effect. Uh, again, driving the hips through in a big circular motion, driving in off the heel, uh, bringing the hand back to my face this time to protect any, uh, any counter uh, action from my opponent. And again, practicing in the air to start with before you're comfortable enough to move on to pads and then you can go full contact. So in a roundhouse kick, and once again, if you know me, it's my favourite technique. But before aiming for the head and before getting height, get more comfortable, aim for the ribs. Height isn't important to start with. What's important is getting the technique right and rechambering the kick properly. So I'm aiming just, just underneath the elbow, between the elbow and the hip. Uh, to that little, nice little window there, that little pocket that presents itself. And striking my opponent's ribs and rechambering the kick back. Uh, maintaining a good stance at all times. So putting it all together is uh, the uh, what we call the attack and defend drill. I'm using the techniques that we've learned so far. It's a down block followed by a palm heel strike, and of course finishing off with the the, uh, the last technique we did, the roundhouse kick to the ribs. So down block again, striking my opponent's shins, palm heel to the jaw, roundhouse kick to the ribs. So I'm using all different windows, different areas of attack, uh, going low, high, and then mid range.
And back to our favourite part of martial arts, our favourite part of training, that's full contact. On the focus pads of the boxing combinations, jab hook, cross hook, and then followed by a, a hook cross, uh, all done. Full contact on the pads, aiming through the pads, not at the pad, aiming for maximum power. Moving on now to Crab Magar combinations 2 to 4, the ever increasingly popular Crab Magar shadow fighting, used very much as a boxer would use uh, shadow boxing. Imagine the opponents in front of you, search out the windows, search out the weaknesses, search out where the openings are. We're using elbows, hammer fists, kicks, um, upper knee strikes, etc. The whole weapons that are available in the Crab Magar arsenal and the kickboxing arsenal. And again, don't pay at lip service, don't just dance through the techniques, visualize your opponents. And then when you're happy with your techniques, go full contact on the pads and blast right through. Moving on now to partner work and our very, very uh, popular uh, own on combat. I'm defending here a hook, we've done covering, wrapping, controlling my opponents and striking with a hammer fist to the side of the face or the throat. All done very, very safely, of course. All done with control. Now I'm defending a side kick and swoop, uh, sweeping the kick away and coming around into horse riding stance and delivering an elbow strike onto the thigh, deadening the opponent's leg. You all know if you've got a dead leg, you can't fight. But again, these are done with control, showing respect to my partner before moving on to full contact drills. And this is a knife pick where I'm doing a palm heel strike, stepping to the side of my opponent, doing a, what I call a reverse shooter, an upside down shooter to the spine, and pushing the opponent's back up, causing a whiplash effect and affecting the, uh, the takedown. And of course, it wouldn't be Fight Fortress if it wasn't for survival. Again, these are two to three rounds, depending on your level of training, your fitness level. We're boxing nice and clever on the focus pads and on the command turn and fight like an animal with uh, elbows, knees, headbutts, kicks, anything you've got in your, in your repartee. And then on command, compose yourself again and box with skills. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for level three at www.simonmorell.com